Scenes from Fort Meade's Earth Day observance. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. More on Earth Day in a moment. Also this week, the Volunteers of the Year, Arts in the Armed Forces, and a new dining option at the Exchange. These stories and more, but first you might have noticed on the Fort Meade website and our social media platforms, including this one, that we've updated the Fort Meade logo. The new image represents the transformation Fort Meade has made in recent years. The sword represents the enduring symbol of military strength, the lightning bolt, communications, electronics, and information technology fields, the key security and intelligence. The stars on a purple field represent all the branches of military service working in concert in the nation's defense. The globe represents Fort Meade's worldwide mission. In other news, there are approximately 3,400 volunteers in the Fort Meade community. Last year, they contributed more than 46,000 volunteer hours, representing more than a million dollars in services. 37 individuals, families, organizations, and military units were nominated in Volunteer of the Year ceremonies this week. Congratulations to all, but here are the Volunteers of the Year. Navy Cryptologic 66 Petty Officer Jesse Linder is the Active Duty Volunteer of the Year. He volunteered more than 800 hours in 2018. Marissa Allison is the Civilian Volunteer of the Year. She volunteered 500 hours at Pershing Hill Elementary. The Youth Volunteer of the Year is Preston Chachara. He spent hundreds of hours helping younger scouts. The McGraw family, Mom Jessica and daughters Kiar and Cameron are the Volunteer Family of the Year. With Dad deployed, they launched and ran a lunchtime reading buddies program. The 43 members of the Enlisted Spouses Club contributed more than 16,000 volunteer hours in 2018. Accepting on behalf of the ESC is Mavie Connor. The 741st Military Intelligence Battalion is the 2019 Volunteer Military Unit of the Year, accepting our Major Jeffrey Anderson and Sergeant Ryan Ash. Once again, thanks to all of Fort Meade's volunteers. Elsewhere, Fort Meade's Earth Day observance this week was much different than in recent years. Instead of a pavilion full of displays and exhibits, this year's observance focused on restoration projects at Burba Lake. This year we're doing things a little bit different. You know, in, in years past, you've seen uh, over in the pavilion, you, you go to the, the tables, you get uh, all sorts of little handouts and nice stuff that probably goes in a landfill, right? Eventually it goes into a landfill, so why do we want to do that? This year, we're actually doing something that affects the environment. Now, we can't do everything, but everybody can do something, right, that adds to it. And if everybody does a little something, everything gets a little better. A large part of the restoration project took place a day before the observance. DPW Environmental's Mitch Keeler led a group of volunteers in installing a biolog along part of the Burble Lake shoreline. Yeah. And the whole idea with this is that plant material will grow into this. And it allows the shoreline area that we are reclaiming where all the erosions occurred to be reestablished in plant material that will knit it together and prevent further erosion. Volunteers included more than 100 fourth graders from Hebron Harmon Elementary School, members of Better Opportunities for Single Service Members, and students from Mead High. They all helped with tree planting and the completion of 40 feet of shoreline. DPW has restored a total of 100 feet in the last six months. Earth Day was a little different this year, but the results will enhance Burble Lake in the park for years to come. Meanwhile, Arts and the Armed Forces, an organization dedicated to bringing the arts to military audiences around the world, performed recently at Fort Meade. Television and film actors Reed Burney, Noah Bean, Jeremy Bob, and Annie Golden performed a reading of Sam Shepard's True West at the Post Theater. During their two-day visit to Fort Meade, the actors also toured the National Cryptologic Museum, got a working dog demonstration, and a cyber demonstration from the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade. After the reading of the play, the actors engage in questions and answers with the audience. Arts and the Armed Forces performs again later this month at the Mountain Warfare Training Center in California. Meanwhile, last week, dozens of people patiently waited in line at the Fort Meade Exchange to get a taste of the latest food option. The grand opening of the Panda Express last week offers more than just another choice. Well, we got a Panda Express here. Panda has been committed to uh, expanding on the Army Air Force Base as part of our BFIT initiative and healthy eating. So Panda brings variety to our food court here, brings another element, also brings in a healthy alternative. A lot of their choices, their entree choices, are under 300 calories, which really fits in with the Army's BFIT initiative. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.